Hello. <laughs> He's already embarrassed of me. <laughs> get out of here. Get uh, Turn off the camera. <laughs> Today, we're going to do a half price books hunt with our favorite person, Dark Sage. And we're going to look for some manga. manga. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We are headed to Half Price Books to find cheap manga. manga. Today should be a blast. Let's head out. Yes. Whoosh. <laughs> Oh, you need some, you need some porgs? Look at all these porgs. They go in packs. Porgs for everyone. We used to have a pork chase. Uh, yeah, I think I sold it. Do they have a twisty from American Horror Story? I recently made Jerry watch all of that. Cause it's one of my favorite shows. What? Dark Sage? What? <laughs> what is this? JoJo's smirch? Yes. Oh, with the, oh yeah. Got, got JoJo's shirts for days JoJo's now. JoJo's pose. Yes. Oh yeah, here we go. Here's yeah. what we came for. See, this, I think they probably got one of the better. I was a middle schooler. I have a memory of this. Listen to this, Kate. I used to come to school reading my Bleach mangas because I was a little kid. I was like, oh my god. I love Bleach. And I remember one day there was this kid who would like... He would always like pick on me, act like, oh, you're so silly for reading that manga stuff. Then uh, one day I like left my, left it under my chair. Uh, I came back to class to get it, and everyone said they saw this kid grab my manga. I was like, what? So I like confronted him. I was like, dude, like, did you steal my manga? He was like, no, man, no, man. And then he like let me see in his locker one day, and he was like, oh, yeah, I got the same volume you have. I remember I had to go to the principal's office, and I was like, this kid stole my manga. And I like, called him in, and like he had to bring it in. He was like, no, I, this is mine. I bought this. And they, the principals wouldn't give me a back. I was so pissed. Have y'all seen the... Um, he got thick lips. Okay. I didn't really find any manga that I wanted. There's just a lot of shoujo, Tokyo pop stuff that I'm not really interested in. So I'm moving on to the graphic novels. <laughs> this is the series. I also really love the Sandman series. I mean, I love Neil Gaiman as an author in general. I've read a lot of his books, but... Um, this and then i think he did a version of black orchid as well that i read just so good the narrative's really really well done and just some of the art in here is just like very crazy and compelling so i'd highly recommend the salmon series First one, a bus. Bus. So Jerry heard a rumor that there are Pokemon cards in Party City, which is right by Half Price Books. So we're gonna see if we can find Pokemon cards because we're weird like that. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> so it's Bates at Sword and Shield, which is brand new. What? Oh, what the hell is in Lost Thunder? I don't know, but I think we should. I don't think we've ever opened one of those. So we see these everywhere. Yeah. Nani! Oh. Unbroken Bond. I don't think we've opened one. I don't think we've opened an Unbroken Bond before either. It's got a roaring sky in it. Buy it. We're going to get this one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Never been inside of a Party City in a long time, but they actually have the Party City exclusive oh. Queen Poppy. Oh. But mm -hmm. let's see what we got. Another bust. Alright, number three. Let's go. The thing is, they even mark that thing down there. It's like 20, 20 duckaroonies. Well, like I was saying, you should support her. <laughs> they got a copy of Omega Ruby. Oh, copy it next. Mm -hmm. I hate to see it. 
In the manga game is not hot today. I mean, they're just three dollar boxes or packs. This cards. That's actually nice. Yeah, yeah. There's a couple websites that'll do it for you. Balls and puzzles. Uh, that's, that's what we're about to do, I think, because we have a huge stack of doubles. Look at that. Oh my gosh, this one is so rare. <laughs> you can see it in every half of these books for seven ninety nine. I always like to take a look at the older video games because I am a fan. I'm gonna play Diabolical Box eventually. I got it for really cheap at a GameStop one time. <sighs> Obviously, if you know me, I love cats. Not this game really, but just cats in general. The best anime of all time, Shrek. Look at that. We got a Majora's Mask. And I got that holographic effect on there. Donkey Kong 64, Mario Kart 64, Ocarina Time, Banjo Kazooie, Super Smash, 50 Bucks. I still have my copy of Kirby 64. So much fun. And Mario Party 3. I actually have Mario Party 1 and 2 for 64. Surprise, surprise, another bus. We hated it. <laughs> we have not bought much while out on this manga hunt. And it's like, it's just, it's so hot here in Texas today. But yeah, Paul really. still doesn't want it's to drop. come. It's gonna drop like 20 degrees. And then, yeah, and then like tomorrow, of course, it's gonna drop 20 degrees. So we're looking forward to that, but not the best day to go on a hunt, that's for sure. Yeah. With the, the heat and the mask. But it's all of our day off. This is so. definitely getting all sweaty, so. Yeah, we're still having fun though. Yes, it's always fun to go hunting. <laughs> Come on. Uh, we'll be attempting the longest cheer boy ever. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. <laughs> breathe, baby, breathe! <laughs> Yeah, look, this is, little, this is the go. last message from the Dark Sage. My girlfriend will kill me. Not because of how much I spent, but because of when she sees how much I spent and opens one of these pages, my life is over. <laughs> It's nice. Trash, it's, a cool, it's a cool GX oh. Pikachu.
every NPC I was going to was having them. Um, I'm not sure what happened. <laughs> they must oh. have got some sort of overseas shipment. They massacred my boy. You know me, Tom. All right, so we hit five. Five half price five books. Five half price books. Then we went to a Barnes and then we went to a moving trading company or as some of y'all know it as vintage stock. Um, or entertain mart. Entertain mart, I guess. Same store, it's the same <laughs> store, just different places. Yeah, um, and Jerry only found one thing at half price. Yep. And then I got something at Barnes. I think Dark Sage got the biggest haul oh <laughs> out God. of the three got of it. us. You gotta go check out his check video. Out It'll his be linked in the video. description below. It's pretty freaking funny. Um, <laughs> mm -hmm. His girl's not gonna be happy. Yeah. This man's gonna be sitting but, on the couch for weeks. <laughs> um, but, I mean, we had a fun time anyway. So, I think on our way home, uh, we're gonna stop by some Walmarts, some Targets, uh, just to see if we Pokemon can find cards. any Pokemon. Because, uh, you know, gotta catch them all. Um, and then after that, we will do a little quick wrap up at home. Show you everything show you what we got. got. <laughs> okay. So we found a whole thing in the third mine. Yeah, like a ton. Unbroken, unbroken bonds. bonds. And then back there is Lost Thunder. A lot. I see it, but you can believe it. A lot of Lost Thunder. Mm. Very I kind of hit the jackpot, honestly. At least if you were looking for unified mines and yeah. unbroken bonds. Hello everyone and welcome home. Alyssa and I are back from our first manga hunt slash hunt with our friend, the uh, Dark Sage Collections. If you don't follow Dark Sage, make sure you jump on over to his YouTube channel and his Instagram and follow him as well. We had a great time hanging out with Chase. Uh, and if you don't know him, you gotta know him. You gotta get to know him. He's a great guy. We wanted to, now that we're home, we wanted to briefly go over all the stuff we picked up while we were out. I hope you enjoyed oh, yeah. sort of our first hunt video. Uh, the first thing I want to show you guys is actually something that my friend, uh, that Dark Sage Collections actually picked up for me. He picked these up and he uh, just was able to hand them off to me. Um, and this is four volumes of the uh, Shonen Manga Shaman King. You guys might be aware of Shaman King. It was on Fox way back in the day as an anime. Uh, but I've been trying to put together the manga set, and I know that they're reprinting these next year. They're going to be reprinting all the way through to the end of the series. But I wanted to start reading some of it, so I've been trying to get my hands on a couple. And he found, I believe for just $3 a volume, uh, a couple of the old volumes. And these volumes are now out of print, so they've started to appreciate up in value a little bit. So $3 a volume is a really good deal. Again, they're kind of random numbers. You know, we got volume 2, we got volume 4... We got volume five. There's the front art. And we got volume eight. So yes, they are kind of random volumes. So I can't really start reading it because I don't have volume one yet. Uh, but I was able to get a couple of those. And I'm slowly going to start putting together more of these volumes because I do want to check out uh, more Shaman King. And they're in pretty good condition. It's always nice to be able to find uh, mangas that are still in pretty good condition because these are from a secondhand store. They weren't from a firsthand store. So today we did go to uh, a couple party cities and i know you probably saw in the video uh, while we were hunting party city so uh, Alyssa and i found out today that they might have some old packs and so we said okay let's go check it out so we were we went to two party cities and we were able to pick up a couple packs so at our first party city which ones did we pick up let's we picked up that one, this one, and... yeah that's right so at our first party city we picked up um two of these sun and moon packs um lost thunder and broken or unbroken bonds these are just a little bit older, not super old, but just slightly older packs. And then 
Then we got Roaring Skies and one of these really crappy repackaged things, but we just wanted to pick it up for the Roaring Skies at least. Um, but yeah, it's, it's one of those um, MJ holding company, you know, just really crappy repacks, but yeah. you know, you never know. You never know what you'll get, so. Yeah, we decided to risk it with that yeah. one. Um, and then when we ran into our second um, Party City, I actually picked up a second pack of Unbroken Bonds. You do have a chance to pull like a Charizard and Reshiram tag team card. That's really cool in the Unbroken Bonds, so I thought I'd pick up another one. So we got two of those, and then... And I got two of the Unified Minds, just because I, I would love to pull that Mewtwo Mew uh, Rainbow Rare. Mm -hmm. It probably won't happen, but right. <laughs> it, I, I like the set anyway, so this was definitely a really good... They had a huge... If you saw in our video earlier, they had a huge um, just line of them. So right. that was kind of, it was kind of weird. Like we never expected Party City to have Pokemon cards like that, especially mm -hmm. older ones. They didn't have really anything that new. No. We, we were like, you know, ooh, we're, are there going to yeah. be champions path here? But no, no. there wasn't. Um, so uh, it's still cool to find the older packs. They yeah. were a little more expensive. Like a dollar more um, expensive, I think. I think they were five a piece. Instead of four, usually. And the repackaged one, just because you get more cards, was $9. Nine. Um, which I'll probably regret later, but... I yeah, it comes with five it's extra It's my money, cards, I'll do what so I want. <laughs> it'll be fine. Um, okay, and then, yeah, the last thing we did is we, like we said, we hit a bunch of half price bookstores. So if you've ever been to half price books, you know it's a it's a store where you can buy and sell books. So it's a secondhand bookstore, essentially. They have them all over the DFW where we're at. And we were able to go to five half price bookstores today. And uh, we did actually pick a couple things. Well, I picked a couple things up, actually. Alyssa didn't end up getting anything. So here's what I was able to get. So this is the first volume of Act Age. Um, so we did get that for $4.99. Uh, this is a newer Shonen Jump manga. So you can pretty much still find these out at your Barnes & Noble or other local like first-hand bookstores. This is not an old series or anything. Uh, this is a very new series and it actually recently got canceled due to some controversy involving the author. And so I had heard some good things about it, uh, but the main thing is I know the artist who was impacted by this series getting canceled, uh, she did nothing wrong. You know, she was not involved in the controversy that occurred. So I feel really bad for her. And I know that, uh, I know that buying it secondhand doesn't really support her in any way, but I do want to see if the series especially from an art perspective, any good. I feel bad that the author ended up not being a great person um, and is dealing with some issues, but I, I wanted to check the series out and see what it's about. I also was able to pick up for $4.99 each. So you can see here, these are each $4.99 each. A series that I've been wanting to read, which is My Hero Academia Vigilantes. They have not done this series in, uh, in an anime form yet. I could see them doing it in anime form maybe in the future, but I've heard really good things. I thought it would be really fun to read. And for $15 for three volumes, that's a really great pickup. Uh, an easy, easy little thing to just display. Also looks good on a shelf with the three volumes. And then also I can actually read the first three stories. And then lastly, I was able to pick up a really cool thing that I think uh, to me was really awesome. For $4.99 at Half Price Books, I found Volume 3 of One Piece. But I'm sure you can tell there, One Piece is one of my favorite shows, mine and Alyssa's favorite animes. But you can see there, it's in Japanese. This is a Japanese volume of One Piece. Um, so it's completely in Japanese. You can see the inside of the book there. Um, completely original Japanese. I just wanted this as a collector's piece. You know, um, finding a Japanese volume of One Piece. I know they're not really expensive. You can probably get them online for about the same price. But five bucks for a Japanese copy of a One Piece volume uh, was really exciting to me. So I went ahead and grabbed that. And then lastly... So then we went to a Barnes. And I thought, you know what? I've looked at this a lot lately and I love cats <laughs> um, but I also love Junji Ito so this is the perfect combination and it's Junji Ito's cat diary Yan and Moo and it's based off of his own cats and right when you um I think it's at the somewhere in here there's oh yeah there's pictures of his actual cats in there <laughs> um but yeah I love Junji Ito as um an author and illustrator um, if you haven't ever seen his works, he's typically a horror mangaka. Mm -hmm. Um, and yeah, I just, I wanted to support him. I wanted to get something maybe a little like, I don't think it's going to be spooky or anything, but it is October. It's Halloween season. So I wanted to pick this up and, it, and it's cheap, you know, it's only $11 full price. And then with our Barnes and Noble membership, we got 10% off for that. Um, so if you buy a lot from Barnes, definitely invest in the membership because you'll end up saving money in the end. 
Um, Absolutely. That's my one manga pick yeah. for today. I, <laughs> I wanted to try to find Bum Bum Saga, but there's just not anything out, out there for um, cheap, I guess. You'd have to get it full price at Barnes & Noble. Yeah. Unfortunately. Absolutely. All right, everyone. And yeah, I was not able to find Saint Seiya or Shaman King other than the four volumes that I got from my buddy. Um, we weren't able to find any at high half price books today, um, but at least I got some Shaman King and I got some other cool manga as well to go in my collection. Um, but that's really all that we have for you all today. I hope you enjoyed us going out on our first ever manga hunt um, and enjoyed our manga haul. And yes, obviously we had to pick up some Pokemon cards, right? We had to get some Pokemon cards. If you want to see us opening these Pokemon cards, these are going to be open exclusively over on our Instagram at my waifu underscore and me. So at my waifu underscore and me, you can watch us open those Pokemon cards. We won't be opening them here on YouTube. Um, additionally, if you you want to check out our buddy dark sage uh, his information is going to be in the description down below and you, he will be posting a video about the same hunt and he picked up something pretty cool uh, i think he picked up something pretty cool i don't know if we got any video of it but uh yeah so. he he picked up something pretty cool and you definitely want to go check out his thoughts on that and uh the fun video he got of us out hunting today because he was able to find a pretty cool manga too so go check him out over uh, at dark sage collections on youtube and over on instagram okay uh, but other than that you all know what's up you guys know the drill you should like comment subscribe do all of that Alyssa and i are just trying to share our passion and love for everything nerdy with those of you on the internet yes and that has been another episode of my waifu and me <laughs> tune in next time y'all peace